if you were to ask a Tesla shareholder what was William Lee of NEO doing in America, they will tell you, oh, it was to meet uh, the CEO of NVIDIA to talk about autonomous driving. And if you say to them, uh, what else was it about? They will say to you, that was it. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was it. You see, there was a movie called Encounter of the Fourth Kind. It was a movie about when you actually make contact with an alien, they call it Encounter of a Fourth Kind. When you meet a Tesla shareholder, I call that Encounter of the Stupid Kind. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. You see, when I tell you guys why I believe Emperor Lee was in America, it will blow your mind. I was doing a lot of thinking about this yesterday. So much so, my son poured a bucket of water on my head and I said, son, what's wrong with you? And he said, dad, I saw steam coming off the top of your head. So I have to believe my son. You see, some days after unveiling the 2024 facelift of Neo Sedan ET7 at the Beijing Auto Show, the CEO of William Lee flew to the United States for a 48 hour trip. Why would he do that to just talk autonomous driving? <laughs> Wait. During the visit, Emperor Lee met with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang and participated in an event organized by Peking, Peking University Northern California Alumni Association. In the university, NEO participated in a panel discussion about electric vehicles, autonomous driving, and entrepreneurship. <laughs> In a video shared on WeChat, the chief executive said, I took the ESA to the airport and will be returning to China soon. I attended a two-day meeting in the United States. It has been a year since I last saw our colleagues from the United States. Later in the video, Neo CEO disclosed that he met with the CEO of the AI giant NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, which is a partner from Neo since its inception back in 2014. I met with Jensen Huang from NVIDIA and discussed the development direction of AI. I also participated in an event organized by Peking University Northern California Alumni Association. So they also talked about AI, not just autonomous driving. Okay, okay, I understand that. I hope Chinese car brands can be sold in the United States soon, Emperor William Lee said. Now you're going to see where I'm getting at. NEO has been collaborating with NVIDIA since 2014, initially focusing on infotainment systems and later expanding to software divine vehicles and automated driving features. NEO's current NT 2.0 platform base models are equipped with four Orin X chips as standard, providing a total computing power of 1,016 tops. During the previous NEO day in December, the company unveiled its first in-house developed autonomous driving chip, which will, will be integrated into the ET9 executive flagship sedan, which starts early next year. At the annual event, NEO introduced the Guard chip, its new chip built on a five nanometer process with over 50 billion transistors. <laughs> and they say Tesla is closer to autonomous driving than us. Okay, let's go on. Supporting 32 core PUs at the same time, William Lee said the chip's computing power is comparable to four NVIDIA Drive RNX chips. So why would he want to meet with, 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 with uh, NVIDIA CEO? The story will get better. NVIDIA announced last month that the electric vehicle manufacturer BYD will utilize its next generation of in-vehicle chips known as Drive Door. Additionally, several automakers and autonomous truck developers, including Guangzhou-based Xiaopong and GAC's Aeon's Hyperbrand, have announced expanded collaborations with NVIDIA. That's all fine and dandy, but now I'm going to tell you guys what I believe he was talking to NVIDIA CEO about. You see, one of the main concerns or supposed concerns 
is that Chinese cars, if it's sold in America, the genocidal geriatric Josephine uh, administration is saying that somehow they can shut off, excuse me guys, all of the cars and cause a lot of people to die because this is what the Chinese, this is what we should expect from them, right? Wrong. But this is what they want you to believe. Now you all see where I'm getting at. If, and also collecting of data. So if NEO was to sign some sort of deal partnership with NVIDIA to where we don't have to worry about that, NVIDIA will collect the data, etc., etc., and it cannot be shared, this is how we come into the American market. Boom, boom, boom. How you like them apples, boy. And you see, I still say, it's not gonna be until Josephine is removed through the election process and you bring in someone else because Josephine is saying he does not want Chinese EVs in America. The other opponent is saying, bring them here, but they must build factories here. No problem. So I still believe this is not going to happen until after the election 2025, which is where the great Emperor Lee projected us to begin with in 20, early 2020, you know, 2025. He didn't say early. I don't want to say that. So I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, motivational on a Sunday morning. Woohoo! If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so. Because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset. Like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.